Co-worker called me a nasty girl when I told him my candy bowl wasn't a trash can. Reposted here since my last post got locked on another subreddit. So have a bowl of candy on my desk that I leave out for my co-workers. Nothing too fancy, just some peppermint buttermints to freshen up our breaths. Today, I had an older gentleman 70s that came up to my desk to hand in his work. While I was checking it, he went for the mints. He took a mint, unwrapped it, and to my horror threw the wrapper back into my bowl. I stopped what I was doing and told him to take the wrapper out and that the bowl was not for trash but only for candy. He proceeds to take the wrapper out and hands me the wrapper. And the following conversation goes. I'm not going to throw away your wrapper for you. You need to be nicer. You are a nasty girl with a bad attitude. Just watch, I'm going to throw my trash in there when you're not here. And then he just walks off. I mean dot I haven't been called a nasty girl in a long time and not in a place of work. But oh man, I was completely speechless. But anyways, I'm taking my bowl back. And I'm not giving out mints until he apologizes. Because of him alone, everyone now will have rancid breath but me. Edit sorry that I didn't mention it before the trash is literally right next to him. He just needed to turn his body and the trash can was right there. But if he would have just asked me if I could please throw it away, I definitely would. If you want your co-workers who are not this guy to have fresh breath keep the bowl in a drawer that you can lock when you're going to be gone. Give mints to those who ask nicely. Excuse me, HR department? I want to report harassment. So and so called me a nasty girl and told me he was going to throw his trash in my candy bowl. I am concerned that this is becoming a hostile workplace due to his insults and threats. Get rid of the candy, it's an excuse this dude can use you walk up and bother you. If someone ask about it tell them, X was leaving his trash in the bowl which is unhygienic, so rather than risk anyone getting sick I just removed it. Yet they wonder why we want to work from home. Rather be a nasty girl than a rude pig. I know people on the internet don't like generalizations, L don't love them either. But man the malicious confidence that I have seen from older men. Jesus. I'm almost jealous of their ability to not give a fuck about people. Young men ain't no prizes either. Put up a new sign mints are gone because John A. McCasshole thinks it's a trash can and is rude. Call him out and shame him. Report him to HR old people don't have any right to treat you like shit just because they are old. It's because asshole has been treating women like this his whole life don't worry. In a few years him and his misogynistic boomer scum will be dead. That's a Trump-inspired comment. He liked to call women who stood up to him a nasty woman. Report him to HR and remove the candy. Bad attitude is all you need to hear. People that say things like that think they are better than you. Put a sign on your desk that says due to the comments of Sabanso I can no longer leave out mints, please feel free to ask him what he said. He's 70 and still working. He's the one taking the real L. I once kept a candy bowl at my desk for my team. People started stealing it by the handful, someone just dumped it in their bag at one point, so I locked it in my desk when I wasn't there. Suddenly other things from my desk went missing. I will never put out a candy dish again. I don't know what it is, but people just lose their complete mind. Yes, I will be a nastier girl in 10 years and in 10 years you'll be dead. Unrelated I will now be turning down sexual advances by saying I'm sorry my candy bowl isn't a trash can. Go to HR and file a report. Probably nothing will come of it. When people start asking what happened to the candy, say, nasty old man threw trash in the bowl and called me a nasty girl when I asked him not to and told me it was my job to clean it up. I told HR but nothing came of it, so I put the candy away so I wouldn't have to deal with it anymore. ETA it might inspire other women to come forward with reports about this guy if they know another woman has.
I serious doubt this is an isolated incident of misogyny and nastiness. Yeah, that sounds like harassment to me. Nasty girl? Like, really? Sounds pervy to me, and I'm a perv. Like if my daughter was in your situation, tomorrow would be his last day. On earth. I would also remove the candy dish, and if anybody asks, tell them why. I would get a nasty girl shirt and wear it to work, the only one being nasty is the rude man. Replace it with a sign. No one gets mints until employee, either named or you know who apologizes. Blatant misogyny and perhaps ageism if OP is noticeably younger as well. Start playing Nasty Girl by Janet Jackson every time he walks by your desk lol. I'm sorry, you said he was 70s? You sure has not seven? Cause this I'm going to throw my trash in there when you're not here. Is something I'd expect a seven-year-old to say. Your colleague is an entitled creep and expects you to handle his trash. This behavior and his remarks shows his undisguised contempt. I mean, really, he takes the candy and then insults you. The fuck? My suggestion is to remove the candy dish and stow the mints in your desk. If people ask, explain to them what happened. Creepy, entitled colleague ruined it for everyone and now you can no longer have nice things. True story had a container on my desk that held five pounds of Sour Patch Kids. Pre-COVID and people would stop by, grab a handful and be on their way. And then pretty soon it was why don't you have sugar-free candy? I'm trying to diet. This isn't fair. These aren't really vegan. So no more community Sour Patch Kids. I'd bring in some for me and not share. People bitched less. No more candy then. Easy PC. They don't want nice things, they can fuck off. He is probably senile at that age, needs to be put out to pasture. Boomer ass entitled mentality. And when you call him out on it you are the asshole. Fucking clown. I put out a bowl of Jolly Ranchers on my desk in the winter because our office was so dry and we'd all get cotton mouth. No one would even take one without asking, and no one would ever throw the wrapper. Your co-worker is a nasty old codger. I'm nasty after I gave you a piece of candy? Go F yourself. You're a disgusting old man. He would literally only do that to a woman. That is staggeringly awful. Yeah this is HR material. You hate to bring something this stupid to them, but if someone's this aggressive about something so minor, this isn't about candy. This is about him getting to disrespect you and feel smug about it, and clearly on a gendered level too. Don't you hate that? My last job I used to bring in pastries, it was like $30 $40 a pop. Well things were tight so I stopped, and one of my co-workers made a snide remark like it's been a while since you brought in pastries in the decade I was there she never did, not even one time. And I never did again. Janet? I am a candy addict, and found open access candy just brings out the worst in people. I only keep it to myself now. Moochers, bums, thieves, it draws them all out. Can't tell you how many times after getting my bowl ravaged, I'd hear a thieving moocher say I'm gonna bring some in. Sure you are, sure you are. The phrase my candy bowl is not a trash can is my favorite new euphemism. If someone called me a nasty girl at work I'd spit in their face tbh. Jesus. You need to speak to HR about this guy now. Tell them exactly what he said, just like here. Email them and cc your boss. I provided candy on my desk and people began bitching about the selection and requesting the type of candy they wanted. It was frustrating. Put out a candy trading post. One compliment for one candy. Only rule is you can't be a jerk. I'd report that shit. Do you think he'd openly disrespect another man like that? That man is a walking HR complaint. Please report him to HR for sexist behavior.